This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Do you guys deserve to be happy? The answer is yes. Stop being ashamed of normal human struggles and start feeling better. BetterHelp is a customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy. And you can start communicating with your therapist in under 48 hours. Join the millions of people who are seeing what online therapy is really about. Right now, I have a special offer for you. Get 10% off your first month of professional therapy at betterhelp.com slash L-Y-B-K. That's better, H-E-L-P.com slash L-Y-B-C-A-D-E. Thanks again for BetterHelp for sponsoring this episode. Guys, welcome back to another episode of Lay Your Brick. In this episode, we talk about not caring about what other people think and how to combat that and what it all looks like and meaning and helpful tips and tricks and books even. We talk about two books in this, The Four Agreements and The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari. So please stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoy it and stay curious. Guys, this has been a huge thing. Uh, lately that I've noticed um, one of my friends and multiple people in my life and even myself struggle with caring what other people think right this is a huge problem that we all have and it's tough to combat because you want to be yourself and in situations that arise like especially for this and for me you know I love being myself like this is this is myself podcasting talking making conversation with people that I don't barely that I barely know right that is something for me but it's also hard because as I grow more in followers and and awareness to people I realize that there is that sense of caring about what other people have thought of me and think of me but I would say that I've done a really good job at combating that and not really caring. Um, it's a tough situation because I think that many of us just struggle with it daily to the point where you don't feel like you can easily combat it and get rid of it, right? If someone walks up to you on the street and says, hey, you look like ass today. <laughs> I know that's an extreme example, but my point is is that like if someone says that to you, you're going to take that in. You shouldn't, and we'll get to that. But you're going to take that in, and you're going to be like, oh, do, what? Like, where did that come from, right? And there's two. There's many types of people out there. But I think that there's some people that are going to take that and be really serious about it, and they're going to be like, why? Like, I don't get this. Like, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. And then there's also going to be, I don't care. Like, who the, who the hell cares what they think, right? And that's how you should, but I think there's a medium that we can all get to together. And that's what we're going to try to do this podcast. I'm not promising you that, uh, this episode that, that this is going to happen and then you're going to get to this, but I will, I do hope that by the end of this, you'll be able to think about certain situations and, or certain things that happen in your life when you're, when you do care about what other people think and be able to subtract that from the equation. Right. So right off the bat, um, I want to talk about this. You don't have to prove anything to anyone except yourself. Um, a lot of the times with success and just growing in general and uh, just doing things in general for us, it's often time, times for another person. It, it, it's for someone else. Um, I know a lot of people that um, go to the gym, right? Gym is something that I frequent a lot. And, so when I first started, I did it for somebody else. Like I did it, like I wanted to be healthy. I wanted to be good looking, but that's why I did it for someone else. I, at the time, you know, I was interested in someone or something. I don't know what it was exactly, but I think a lot of people go to the gym to look better for somebody else and not themselves. And that's really bad. Um, it's great because it motivates you and you have to figure out what motivates you and what doesn't. Um, so that's a different conversation, but it is something that, you need to narrow down on because if this thing and whatever it may be for you is if, if you're making a decision in your life based off somebody else's opinion of you, it just, it's not going to last long if it were to be a, you know, consistent thing. Um, and if it does last long, then chances are you change the motivation in your head or subconsciously, you know? And so it's important, but we don't have to prove anything to anybody except ourselves. We, okay, this is perfect. There's a quote in this book 
Okay, there's two books that I'm going to be talking about on this podcast, and I highly suggest that you read the hell out of them. Okay, they changed my life definitely for the better, and I think that they have the opportunity to change yours as well. And if you haven't even heard of them, this is a perfect time now. They're cheap. They're small reads. You can read them in, you know, I don't know how well you are at reading, but you can read them in a week if you wanted to, three days if you wanted to, to be honest, okay? But the first book that uh, I, that I'm going to pull this example from is called The Four Agreements, and it's, and it's by um, Don Miguel Ruiz, okay? Yes, I had to look up the pronunciation of that because I was scared that I wasn't going to know it. Um, but in this book, the four agreements, okay, there are more than four agreements, but this book basically talks about how each one of these agreements, and I'm not going to go through it in this episode, but each one of these agreements is important that you add to your life. And when you add it to your life, um, or subtract, depending on what the agreement is, it becomes part of you and when you add it and you keep adding it continuously and and constantly to your to your regular routine every single day i promise you this book will not disappoint you okay so i'll save that for later but um let's go to this okay i'm not exactly sure where we were at but i think uh there's there's three things that i really wanted to show you in this so we'll get to all of them anyways um Let's talk about taking things personal, right? Let's, let's talk about kind of where that comes from for a second. So personal importance, okay, this is in the book, The Four Agreements, right? Like I said, personal importance or taking things personally is the maximum expression of selfishness because we make the assumption that everything is about me. Everything is about me. How many times do you guys a day do that? You think about me. What's me? How's this, how, how am I going to get value out of this? Uh, you know, what, what, what am I going to get from this? How should I take, how should I spend my time? And these are all very important questions, but it comes down to a specific point in your life where, you know, not in your life, but just, just in general that like, you, you got to quit asking yourself that, right? Because me, me, me is not always going to be the answer. And a lot of the times, um, I've, I've learned that, that serving, Okay, when when in your life, if, if you find serving, and, and, and it can be whatever you want, it can be through, you know, God or the universe or whatever you want it to be and whatever you believe in, there is an importance to serving for other people. And that goes into your passion and purposes. And if you guys want to know more about that, then I'd love to do an episode on that. But I don't know a ton about it right now. But I do know that when you when you take acts of serving in your life, something that you love doing, but it benefits other people, you're teaching other people, you are providing information to other people for their benefit, It it's insane what life will bring you. And it's also insane how well that it works within your whole scope and life. Right. So you're obviously watching this or listening to this. And either way, you clicked on this because you're either a fan of me or you know that you want to start taking the right steps to educate yourself and, and have a better life. Right. I mean, that's kind of what my podcast is about um, in, a, in a broader term. But that's what's important. So, Again, I'll read that. Personal importance or taking things personally is the maximum expression of selfishness because we make the assumption that everything is about me. It it's just so true. We make everything about us. And and what that is, what that kind of like what that is is um nothing other people do to you or say is because of you like nothing you ever do is sorry nothing other people do is because of you it's because of themselves internally they have these conflicts and these emotions and these things that come up to them and 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 that's what engages them to to really go in and go ham on it right like it, it's not because of you and i made a um a tiktok about that one time but let's move to, okay, so in this quote, it says, when you take things personally, then you feel offended, and your reaction is to defend your beliefs and create conflicts. You make something big out of something so little. 
because you have the need to be right and make everybody else wrong. You also try hard to be right by giving them your own opinions. In the same way, whatever you feel and do is just a projection of your own personal dream, a reflection of your own agreements. What you say, what you do, and the opinions you have are according to the agreements you have made, and these opinions have nothing to do with me. We make these reflections and these own agreements in our lives, and they look different for every single one of us, but what happens is is we kind of just go on those and it becomes routine like a routine, and because of that, it's hard to break that mold. But that's what this book is about, is, is breaking that mold and, and adopting these new agreements to, to have a better life. Um, the other thing is, is, let's talk about this, because this is important to me. And I, and I think this is like the beginning of what I was trying to say earlier. Um, this podcast, this episode is going to be a little all over the place, but you just stay tuned. Stay tuned. Um a lot of the times we judge ourselves because of what other people say, right? This, this is the whole point of the pod, this episode. So, um, when we, when we judge ourselves about what other people say and do, we're really hard on ourselves because we don't see it as, we don't see ourselves as other people, right? And if we did, we would be so much nicer to us. How many times have you made a mistake and you were so hard on yourself, but when you're, relative or your family member or your friends make a mistake and you're like dude you're human like stuff happens like but why don't we do that to ourselves it's a really interesting concept so what i'm trying to get at here is in this book it says i'll read the passage right here if you always do your best there's no way you can judge yourself and if you don't judge yourself there's no way you're going to suffer from guilt blame and self-punishment I'll read it again. If you always do your best, there's no way you can judge yourself. And if you don't judge yourself, then there's no way you're going to suffer from guilt, blame, and self-punishment. But what I really want to get at here is everyone's best looks different. And it's important to me that you know that because some people's best day will be getting up and being the most productive that they've ever been in a day and getting work done, getting school done, getting your chores done, working out, going for a walk, walking your dog, whatever that may look like, right? And some other people's best is literally waking up and being able to take a shower that day. And I use those ex- extreme examples, but be- because it, it, it's so true. I mean, if you suffer from anything as far as depression and mental illness, just in, in, in a broad um, term and and anything else too. Um, One of my close friends actually recently got in a car accident and she lost mobility from her basically neck down, waist down for sure. But yet like when I talk to her or my sister talks to her, she is really happy. And I think there's something there with that. Because we, as people, have these days where we're so hard on ourselves about not being able to complete certain tasks. And, dude, I am the definition of this, okay? I I literally am hard on myself if I don't get a podcast out, if I don't get an episode out, if I don't sit here and do my research to make sure that I know and I feel like I know what I'm talking about. So it's a good episode for you guys the amount of um, pressure that it, that puts on me is is crazy sometimes. I love it because it, this is something that I love to do. But at the end of the day, our bests look completely different from everything and everybody that we've ever seen before. Like I said, sometimes it's getting up and taking a shower and sometimes it's being able to go to work and have a productive day and all this different stuff. And you know, we're all at different points in our lives. That's the other thing too. Um, I saw this Instagram, uh, today, this Instagram story and it was talking about how we all need to come together, um, as one, because we are one. And I think there's something there with that. And I, that was response to 
the Russia and Ukraine thing. Um, you know, and I won't get into that, <laughs> but it's, it's important to me that you guys look at yourselves and make sure that you know that your best is different from somebody else's best because you are as important as anybody else. And because of that, you need to also treat yourself how you treat others. And that's kindness. And that also goes into my next thing that I wanted to talk about for a little bit, which is whatever you want from somebody else. Um, this could be jealousy. This could be, you know, something else. But whatever you want from someone else, give it to yourself first. And this is within relationships as well. Um, but you need to give yourself love if you're looking for love if you're looking for kindness and um applause and appreciation for something that you completed give that to yourself right and i know this strays away from the topic a little bit but that's important because like i said we are hard on ourselves so if if we can if we can give ourselves what we think that we need from somebody else then we don't no longer we no longer feel the need to depend on people and and have that as a um you know just we don't need to depend on people we don't need that and so for that to happen that's a huge change and you'll notice that that change will come immensely and and gratefully because a lot of the times we want to fill a void with someone or something else and that's not the answer it's just simply not the answer we have to take what we want and we have to change that to make sure that we are getting that and what i mean by that is again if if you want something else if you want praise and and um self you know not self love cuz that makes sense but praise and um congratulating on on doing something that you're proud that you did give that to yourself have those moments take those moments for yourself and be able to really do that the second thing that i wanted to talk about well this is not the second thing let's be honest here we've been all over the place this this will get the conversation started for um for talking about not taking you know we cover not taking things personally. It's it's a huge part of it. Um, everyone, when someone comes up to you and is talking to you and if they're rude to you or something like that, it is them. It is themselves. And it's hard to change my mind on that because they don't know you. And if it's somebody you do not know, then you should be able to slate that away right away. Because it's no, it's not even comparable to something. They literally saw you, they came up to you, and they said something, and it was rude. How is that on you at all? Think about that. Logically, how is that on you at all? You didn't do anything wrong, and you didn't do anything to deserve that. It's just as simple as that. This book I've been reading lately, it's called The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari. Okay, it's by Robin S. Sharma. This book, oh man, guys, yeah. <laughs> I would definitely suggest it. Definitely highly suggest this book. There's something in here in this passage, and I actually read it to one of my friends. Um, well, quite a few people actually now. But th this describes perfectly what you might be going through um, as far as caring what other people think. Okay? Yogi, so I'm going to read this. This is, this. this is the passage from it. Yogi Raman, which is this... Uh, sage one of the sages and if you read the book you'll understand but if not i'm just going to provide this little information yogi raman he's one of the sages and uh this this is it <laughs> sorry guys uh yogi raman and all of his kinds uh sages with whom he lived often used a saying that has been passed down to them through generations it's my my privilege to pass it on to you which is him not me um and the 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 words are as follows there is nothing noble about being superior to some other person true nobility lies in being superior to your former self all i'm really getting at is that if you want to improve your life and live with all that you deserve you must run your own race it doesn't matter what other people say about you what is important is what you say to yourself do not be concerned with the judgment of others as long as you know what you are doing is right 
you can do whatever you want to do as long as it is correct according to your conscious and your heart. Never be ashamed of doing that which is right. Decide on what you think is good and then stick to it. And for God's sakes, never getting, never get into the petty habit of measuring your self-worth against other people's net worth. Every second, then he goes on to say this, every second you spend thinking about someone else's dream, you take away from your own. I mean, wow. Okay, this book is phenomenal. And I mean, I know I butchered it a little bit there. But guys, it's super important that we take that into account. Let's let's look at this. Let's dissect this a little more, okay? There's nothing noble about being superior to, to some other person. True nobility lies in being superior to your former self. What that reminds me of personally is... Comparing yourself to others is inadequate and stupid because, again, we have better days and they look different to every single person. So comparing ourselves to somebody else doesn't make sense just in general because we all have a different day and a different time and a different life and that looks different for all of us. And then he goes on to say... uh, True nobility lies in being superior to your former self. Your former self. Compare yourself to the past you. What are you like now? Did you change? Have you changed? If not, maybe we should look into that. Maybe you should try and change yourself if you think that you need to change. Then let's go to this. Do whatever you want to do as long as it's correct according to your conscience and your heart. Never be ashamed of doing that which is right. Decide on what you think is good and then stick to it. Stick to something. Stick to your morals. Find your morals that you want. I, I'd advise writing them down if you need to. Whatever you need to do, say them out loud. Do a voice memo. Figure out what uh, you think is right and stick to it. Stick to your guns. You know, Realize that these are your things that make you you and your things that you will not settle on. Those are important to find in your life because you will be able to correct it. And if someone were to come up to you and be like, hey, dude, nice shoes, you look stupid in them. You can be like, that's not, I don't care what you think because that's, I think I look good in them and that's what is correct according to me, right? So you can use that. I know that was a bad example. (laughs) And then for the other thing is never get into the the petty habit of measuring your self-worth against other people's net worth. Wow. First off, how many of us do this? And and, and in my generation especially, all right, there are numbers, numbers of millions of YouTubers and TikTok people and Instagram that we look at their lives through that lens and we're like, dude, I wish I had their life, right? Or God, like, they're so pretty, but like they have all these beauty products. So like, that's why I can't be pretty like stuff like that. Your self, their self worth, their, sorry, their self, their uh, net worth, sorry, their, their net worth is not compared to, to your self worth. You deserve to be happy and, and love yourself for who you are. And in the situation that you are, these are the cards that you were given, right? Um, and I think that you can change those cards, but that's just my opinion. Um, and you can't compare it to somebody who is, you know, let's just use this as an example. I love him. I love him. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that came out on him and whatever, but David Dobrik, okay. He, he has a home in California and he's got an assistant and he's got a new home now and he's got cars and he buys cars for people and stuff. But, you know, my friend and I, we constantly, I'm not actually going to use his name because I love him so much. So Colby and I, he, we talk about this constantly, how we would compare ourselves to these people that are living these lives, but it's not measurable, not measurable because it, it's, it's something that we're not in the same situation. And this happens a lot too with age. So, you know, I'm 21 and I look at people who are 19 on TikTok and stuff like that. And they are living it up and living their best lives and being able to go on vacation whenever they want. And they get paid to travel and paid to do ad reviews and paid to do like that looks 
awesome and ideal to me. But in reality, I love the situation I'm at. I love that I only have a select few of fans right now. Like that is what's the beauty of it in my life and my journey. But that's how I view it. And I advise you to start kind of looking at and in the be- the most thing, the best thing advice, the best advice that I can give you with this is is gratitude. Gratitude is a huge thing that um, changes your perspective really easily because once you start being grateful for what you have and what you're doing, you don't really compare yourself to other people because you look at what you have and you're grateful for what you have and you're not thinking or wanting or wishing for something that you don't have because all that energy is focused on something that you do have and you're saying that I love this and I love that I have this and this and this and this. I'm grateful for this, 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 this. That's showing you know, that you are happy with what you have and it is hard it is hard to be happy with what you have especially when you compare yourself to others but it's why you can't compare yourself to others because again it's just it's not measurable and that was a huge huge thing for me the next thing i wanted to share out of this book was oh no i'm so sorry guys (laughs) if you're watching the video i just tore that okay um courage um, you're probably like, Kate, this you know, this episode has been great so far, but dude, like, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to change that. I don't know how to change how to not take things personally and, and, and look into, you know, not being affected by what other people say. And the best advice that I can give you is read the four agreements <laughs> because it talks, it has a whole chapter on that. It has a whole chapter on not taking things personally. And it also coincides with all of them that are in there, all the agreements. And that will give you the energy and the information that you feel like you need in order to move on, right? So that's super important. But let's move to this. Courage. Courage is something you need to not be affected by others. And you guys probably know, like, yeah, okay, courage. I know courage. Well, let me explain something here really quick. What does courage have to do with self-leadership and personal development? Okay, this is what in the in the book, the Monk Who Sold His Ferrari by Robin S. Sharma. What does courage have to do with self-leadership and personal development? I wonder it aloud. Courage allows you to run your own race. Courage allows you to do whatever you want to do because you know that it is right. Courage gives you the self-control to persist where others have failed. Ultimately, the degree of courage you live with determines the amount of fulfillment you have received. It allows you to truly realize all the exquisite wonders of the epic that is your life. And these and those, sorry, and those who master themselves have an abundance of courage. Courage is something that he said it right there. Courage is something that allows you to run your own race. Courage allows you to think about yourself in the way that these are my goals. These are what I want to accomplish and I'm going to go for them no matter what. And the other part of that is persistence and consistency because one second here, because when you use that consistency and that courage and that persistence, you end up, accomplishing a lot of what you really wanted to accomplish because it's super important to be able to stand up for yourself and and have those morals and have those things and and, and have an understanding of that so I want to kind of wrap this up because I wanted this to be a shorter episode but I hope that you guys did get a lot of information out of this and I'll and I'll try to dissect it right now as a summary and what I'll say to this is if you are struggling with caring about what other people think of you, I think the best thing you can do is find yourself, figure out who you are as a person. And that sounds like a huge task to accomplish. And I apologize, but it is. And, but, but through doing that, you will find what you think is right and what you have for your morals and how you think other people should be treated through that. And, the best advice that I can give you is, okay, well, where do I start or how, how can I start on doing that? Read the four agreements. 
start reading, but start researching, watch YouTube videos. I don't care. Watch Ted talks about it. There's immense and immaculate. I'm going to say it, immaculate information out there that you can use that is free that you don't need the book. Like you don't need the four agreements. I recommend it, but you don't need it. You can use YouTube and you can look it up and you can read articles and figure out what you want kind of from your life. And also I'll narrow that down because I know it's a huge thing, but like figure out how you want to be perceived and what you think is correct. I cannot stress that enough. What you think is correct, that will give you courage and that will give you the allowance to be able to run your own race and do what you think is right. And that will broaden so many horizons for you just in general. So please take all of this into consideration. And at the end of the day, know that I care about you and know that you can literally do what you want and not care about what other people think. And it is possible and if you have to develop like a persona, like I don't, I know a lot of people would not recommend this to you. Okay. So take this with a grain of salt, but if you have to develop a alter, not personality, not ego, but an alter person, <laughs> I guess an alter personality, whatever you want to say, if you have to develop that and, and use that as that's how you're confident and that's how you use courage, then do that. Do not though. And I cannot stress this enough. Do not let that continue as a alter personality let that be a way to treat your self in the future so if you if you're doing that in the present you know and 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 there are little things if you know wear sunglasses or you wear a hoodie and this hoodie makes you feel like you are confident and do whatever use those items and 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 make it a you know, make it important to yourself that you're like, okay, when I wear this item, I am the best version of myself that I, that I can possibly be. You saying that to yourself enough is eventually going to make whatever that hoodie or sweatshirt is, it's going to turn that into just yourself. You're going to subconsciously soak that in and you're going to believe in yourself just as much as you were if you had that hoodie or not, right? Do not get attached to these items. Do not allow them to run how you operate, meaning if you leave your sunglasses or your hoodie at home for this example, then do not allow that to be like, oh, I can't be confident or whatever in this situation. Do not let that be an attached thing because when it does, that's when you get, that's why I wouldn't tell you advice or give you this advice because it's a dangerous thing to start. But I know that we all struggle with it. So for me, I know that I've done that beforehand. And when I, um, when I would drink, you know, like I'm 21, but when I would drink, uh, when I was a little underage, uh, no big deal. Um, that would give my, I would give myself confidence through doing that. So when I did that, I equated that to, um, that confidence and that, you know, it all, it all, we all do that to certain things. But when I did that, then I, then I slowly learned that I don't need that. Right. Cause you could fake it. Um, they've done studies where they line these people up and they give them um, a shot and it could be of water or whatever and just tastes like alcohol and whatever and they'll take it and they think or non-alcoholic beverages that they think is alcohol and they'll think that they are getting drunk or buzzed or whatever and it's really interesting because you can trick your mind into <laughs> believing that you are confident and you are and so it's really, really cool, and, and I suggest looking that up as well. You know, research, that's the best thing I can tell you to do. Guys, you don't need to compare yourself to other people because you are important the way you are right now, and don't let anybody else tell you different, okay? If you like those shoes, wear those shoes. If you like those shoes, if you like that hoodie, buy that stuff. It, it's you. Find you. Find what's important to you. Find what makes it correct. And, that, and that's where I'll leave you guys. I appreciate you listening. I hope you stayed on for the whole time. And if you did, and if you're at this point right now, I sincerely love you and I appreciate every single one of you. So with that being said, please enjoy the rest of your day or night, whatever it may be. And we'll catch you in the next one.